we are discussing chapter number 9 which is soil question answer on soil we are taking first is in addition to rock particles the soil contains what the answer is this one minerals organic matter air and water the water holding capacity is the highest in dash the answer is clay soil clay soil we have to match one with two column so home of living organisms is all kind of soil upper layer of the soil is dark in color the sandy soil has large particles the middle layer of the soil has a lesser amount of humus and clay soil the smallest particles and packed tight explain how soil is formed see there are rocks and there is a process which is called the weathering of the rock and this is simply breakdown of the rock by the action of blowing air that is wind and water so this is a very 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 slow process and it occurs all the time in the environment and the soil formation is actually two step process first this weathering of rocks is taking place very minute minute particles very micro level particles are being produced with the air or wind striking the or water striking the rocks now rock is broken into these smaller pieces and these small particles they mix with the organic matter which is, which is called as humus and they form soil next is how is clay soil useful for crops now this uh, clay soil has huge amount of humus or organic matter that is why it is very fertile and that is why we use it to grow cereals like wheat and gram so this uh, soil is good for retaining water for paddy the soils rich in clay and organic matter having good capacity to, to retain water is ideal when we talk about lentils masoor or you can uh, you know include various pulses in this the loamy soils which can drain water easily this is what is required what is the difference between clay soil and sandy soil so clay soil and sandy soil in the clay soil the ratio of fine particles are quite higher here we have large particles in sandy or soil in clay soil soil retains water and it becomes sticky and wet like uh, uh, the flour atta when it, it is being uh, fed with water here the it is loose particles the air permeate, permeates through the soil in clay soils this is suitable for crops like paddy wheat and gram in the sandy soil it is suitable for vegetables peanuts and cotton cultivation in clay soil it's very difficult it becomes very difficult to plow when it is wet having water in in it but because it is a sandy soil this dries up quite easily and because it can cannot retain water sketch the cross section of soil and label the various layers so let me show you first this is the first layer which is a horizon b this this is b and this is c and this is d so what happens here is see this is uh, very tough with rock and this is not very tough but it has humus etc so we'll take one by one the vertical section uh, which you just saw through different layers of soil is known as soil profile so each layer it differs in feel it means the way you touch or feel or texture the color the depth and the chemical composition of each layer is different and these layers they are known as horizons so first is the uppermost layer which you just saw is generally uh, dark in color because it has huge amount of uh, organic matter humus and also uh, it contains minerals the humus makes the soil fertile and it provides nutrients to growing the plants and the layer is generally soft porous and this can retain some more water and since uh, this is a top soil we call it as a top soil or the a horizon then the next one the next layer has lesser amount of humus but more minerals so this layer is uh, rather more hard and more compact we call it as b horizon or middle layer the third layer is c horizon which is made up of very small lump of rocks 
which has cracks and crevices. Then we have bedrock, that is the uh, fourth one. And this is hard and difficult to dig with spade because it contains a lot of rocks. Razia conducted an experiment in the field related to the rate of percolation. She observed that it takes 40 minutes for 200 ml of water to percolate through the soil sample. You have to calculate the rate of percolation. So, rate of percolation is simple amount of water divided by percolation times. Amount of water by percolation time. So, this is 200 ml and this is 40 minutes. So, 200 ml by 40 is 5 ml per minute. Explain how soil pollution and soil erosion could be prevented. Most important is that we need to have plants. So, if we need to uh, prevent the soil pollution, we can use the manures instead of using the harmful chemical fertilizers. And all the industrial waste, they have to be treated. Their acids have to be neutralized before we can even release it to any water or any other place. We have to avoid sincerely, religiously the polythene and plastic uh, because they are uh, non-biodegradable, so they, sh they, sh they should not get mixed in soil. Prevention of soil erosion, how we can do that? The first is, we need to grow plants, that is we have to cut down the amount of uh, large scale, um, you know, forest cutting. We have to avoid overgrazing of grassland on the, uh, you know, the areas which, which have their, that amount of uh, grass needs to be fed to the, the animals and use of step farming in hilly region this this would be very beneficial now solving the uh, this crossword puzzle we have various clues so plantation preserves it that is you know soil erosion kind of thing it is being asked use uh, should be born to ban to avoid soil pollution you can add you know plastic if it is there if it suffices type of soil like clay and living organisms in the soil in desert soil erosion occurs through clay and loam are suitable for cereals like this and this type of soil can hold very little water sandy collection name of uh, layers of soil so this is the answer this is wind erosion sandy polythene profile clay earthworm and wheat so this is all about this chapter. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.